Southern Mining. Uh, today we are uh, presenting about the mining portfolio of Exigen and what are the various products uh, we recruit. And I'm Raghunath, uh, working as a DGM Mining Solutions uh, for the past one and a half year in Exigen. I do have total uh, near to 14 years experience in the mining industry, the mine planning, mining, and logistic mining solutions. So we'll be covering the various products and portfolios and how our Exigen is helping the mining industry uh, in the digital environment. So uh, to understand first, we do our mining, uh, our hexagon solutions are quite the uh, best uh, productivity uh, solutions in reality capture, positioning, autonomous technologies, and uh, simulation. In this era of uh, construction, we provide our solutions and products. We have multiple verticals to uh, frame this for the various industries. For the, such as manufacturing intelligence, where uh, quality control, quality assurance for the product manufactured is being assessed. I like asset like intelligence with the assets which manufactures the products will be given a digital uh, visualization and uh, building of these structures. Autonomy and positioning for the various uh, correction of land, sea, and air. Agriculture, where the digital uh, equipment or digital structure can be given to the agricultural structures and geospatial is a map based system and uh, GS solutions what we provide and safety infrastructure for for the uh, say smart cities and geosystems as you know uh, it's a Leica product where we have GNSS, uh, DGPS and also real capture scanners. We have total 14 uh, mining uh, total 14 office locations in India, where Gurgaon is heading as a headquarter to us. And uh, we have R&D centers in Hyderabad and Pune, over 2,000 employees. And as a company, as a hexagon, we do 12% uh, of our profits towards the R&D, which is one of the highest in the world. And today, uh, we will be covering uh, these five different business units of mining portfolio. One is mining plan. Second one is mine operate, mine protect, mine monitor, and mine enterprise. So to understand this, as you know, the mining has been uh, continuously driving its career from conventional to semi-mechanized to mechanized, and then to the digital. So it has been right now at the mechanized and highly weaponized stages, and some of the mines are, most of the mines are into the digital structure. To attain the digital operations, you need to have a kind of a hardware and the software amalgamation, where uh, you take the necessary inputs of your equipment, of your production, of your operation, and try to analyze this data in real time and after the process, and define what is the best suited way to achieve your uh, progress, your plan. It's like something like whatever you plan your mind and mind your plan. To achieve that type of topic, our solutions will help you in various uh, valuation of the mining, mining valuation in the life of mine. As you can see, uh, we have the mine plan, which does all kinds of mine planning estimation to long term, short term optimization, plan operation, which helps in the fleet management, asset process management, health management, and also uh, the machine guidance. And it comes to the protect, we do the uh, safety uh, for the collision avoidance, uh, fatigue management, personal safety and also the vehicle intervention system. And next, mine monitoring, here we monitor your slope stability, subsurface monitoring, and uh, fragmentation analysis, and also the blast movement. And enterprise is a single business dashboard where you connect all of these tools in a single window and try to manage your operations and define what is the best suited real-time data that is required for you. So first for the mine plan. Mine plan uh, here for the hexagon, it is a mine site. It's the oldest software in the world. Uh, it is almost 50 years less. And uh, this consider this mine plan solution as a tool for estimation. It's a regular uh, process of mine planning or geology, uh, modeling for section creation, database management, section creation, short solids, and then comes to 
estimation and resource creation and then pit optimization, long term scheduling and the short term scheduling. At the end, it is a reconciliation. Let me go through all the topics one by one. So in the geology, as you know, once you consider the borehole data, once the borehole data is there, there are uh, these structures are to be stitched, sections are to be drawn, and the sections are to be created for this uh, to create a solid structure. So our mine plan geology is for both, for the coal and non-coal. You can use it for the iron ore deposit as well as for the coal deposit. As you can see, towards the right, it is showing some sort of coal seams, and towards in the bottom, it is showing the block uh, uh, model for the some of the iron ore deposit or copper deposit. So while while we are doing while we are doing solid modeling, we have two kinds of processes. So one is explicit modeling, one is implicit modeling. Explicit modeling is that where you stitch solids uh, using the sections drawn in each section, and implicit modeling is where you provide these borehole data for the system, and the system would generate a solid according to the data which has been provided. So we have that uh, module, what we call it as a geology. It's an implicit module runs on the other real basis function, where you simply provide your borehole data and necessary information, whether it may be for the structural deposit or it may be for the uh, vein, float, any kind of deposit, you can create these structures. You are going to provide an input of uh, borehole data, top and bottom of these borehole sections, or uh, first and last ones and necessary CAD points if it is required. And then the system would generate a solid according to the fault model. So once you have created that, this automatically generate the seam structure here, multiple seams, and it has a timeline. For example, if you want to create the time or the borehole uh, wise from the top to bottom, all the solids at a time, it can be done using the solution. So we call this solution as a geology. It's basically an implicit model. So Ay, this Rahu, sorry to interrupt. Uh, sorry, I think the users of uh, the attendees are saying the voice is not very clear. Uh, now it is clear. Yeah, better. Please go ahead. Uh, now it is clear. Hello. Yeah, it's clear now. It's clear. Okay. Uh, so explicit modeling. This is an explicit modeling solid, explicit model solid, where the sections are created for each borehole and has been stitched to one another, and solid is created. This is an implicit solid where you have given the same borehole data and necessary inputs, uh, and then the solid is been created using the uh, radial basis function. Next, uh, this design. Once you design your, uh, once you have your model has been designed and estimated uh, using the geostatistic parameters, then you do your pit design with the pit uh, expansion tool. And this solution is for both underground designing, pit uh, stop optimization, and stop uh, designing, and also for the open cast, both pit and dump. And next, uh, once you have your resources. Uh, real, in your uh, kit, and then you need to create an optimized kit for the pit optimization, creation of uh, pushbacks, scheduling, static scheduling uh, with your NPV, net present value, internal uh, rate of uh, return, and uh, other all sort of uh, cost parameters can be given into this. And what uh, you want to um, say, like in certain point of period, you don't want to do a certain mine, what how it is in optimized and using the blending as a parameter. So how these pixels are generated, you can work out with your NTP, Peter Vendor, mine plan Peter Vendor. This is a module over there. Once the pit is optimized, then you can do the scheduling. Our scheduler has uh, an input optimizer of either. It's not a simple scheduler, just divides the blocks according to your requirement. You just go the optimize. What does it mean? It provides a suitable optimum schedule where you can see the uh, result are practically possible. So it has a scheduler uh, optimizer built to the situation. 
and it has a constant relax uh, constant uh, release the relaxing option also where uh, if you are uh, having constraints like number of uh, um, number of equipments per the schedule or total number of uh, total quantity of the uh, or a uh, total quantity of oob it has been to be these constraints are given for certain amount of periods and then you want to release them in the next consecutive periods so that can be done and the haulage the total schedules can be the can be devised using the haulage plan into this of schedule optimization next comes the activity scheduler this is a short term scheduler where a particular block is selected and then you create the activities one of the another like building blasting transportation and uh, resource allocation to that and define this plan is pitched to the fms in the future where uh, you monitor what is planned with your activity scheduler and then how it is being actually worked with the fms this is drill and blast layout where we define your uh, blast design number of drill holes what is total optimal cost for that and what is the amount of explosive that is required to blast a particular area uh, this is a drill and blast layout and next lastly is a reconciliation model mine plan grade control where uh, you define uh, like we have our drill hole uh, blast hole samples which we acquire on every day mine these sample data has some quality into it so once this quality data is incorporated into the block model and near near local estimation is created and grade the dilution will be reduced with this near estimation and that process of do achieving the sophistical grade control we have that model in our mind plan this underground stop optimizer uh, where uh, you can use your stop shapes uh, and uh, create your uh, perfect underground designs the same uh, underground scheduler where uh, the drilling blasting all the transportation sequencing can be done for the underground mine also this concludes the mine plan sector next comes the mine operates mine operate uh, having the fleet management machine guidance asset health fragmentation analysis and operator assist fleet management is a tool which helps you to improve your utilization of trucks, dogs, shovels, and drills, and uh, increase its lifetime. And also, uh, continuously monitoring your truck entire its life cycle, like how much time it is waiting, what is the spot in there, what is the loading, what is queuing, how much time it is queuing, and what it is, how much time it is being traveled. And you can find the benefits such as uh, available routes. Optimized production, lowering the idle time and waiting time, preventing uh, truck from running out of fuel. So all sorts of uh, fleet managing tool is in our operator or in your mine operate model. So to achieve this, we need to install this particular hardware. We call it as a core, this unit, and this is GNSS or GPS system and Wi-Fi for the connectivity with that local interface and this is a display which which will be placed inside the operator's cabin and the fleet one uh below you can see the two screens where this particular yellow mark is the shovel point loading point and the brown color mark is the unloading point now you can find how many trucks are being traveled in this particular sequence and uh, you can uh, the same system can be uh, generated for the underground module also because uh, fleet management can be operated with both open cast and underground mines. So next one is material tracking using our uh, fleet management. How this material tracking? This design, what you are observing here, these are the grades which have been uh, taken from or uh, received from the mine planning solution. Mine planning solution has been planned. This is a grade A, grade B, and now we don't want to blend these two grades, or we don't want to mix these two grades. This information has been passed on to the shovel. Shovel will not pick a material which is not been allotted to it. So this is how we uh, do the material tracking and control of grade in the solution. Now we have the complete visual awareness because all the dumpers, shovels. The dodgers, drills, and all the auxiliary equipment is installed with the fleet management. 
So you can manage what are the how where the where, where the equipment currently in this position, how many trips that is uh, it has been done, and what is the total uh, fuel consumption has been done for the till date uh, till that time. So you just need to click on this screen uh, over any of this equipment. The total real time analytics will be presented to you because every system is uh, incorporated with the GPS and the market equipment. Next one is the machine guidance. So as a sort of machine guidance, which you have seen for the equipment for the grade control. In the same way, uh, we uh, install the machine guidance equipment towards the drill. For the drill, there are two events. One is positioning the drill at exact location. Other one is the amount of depth drilled by the equipment. So our unit will support the drilling machine to position it exactly where it has been planned by the planner. So if X, Y, Z is uh, processed to, to the system, it will try to position the drill rig exactly where uh, X, Y, Z has been created by the mine plan or the, in the mine plan. And once the position has been confirmed, that it's been done, and then it starts real-time monitoring of the drill depth. So what, whatever the drill depth has been assigned to that particular board hole, you can monitor the same drill depth from the screen. Uh, to analyze how much uh, the limit is been happening per hour. So this is the machine diagnostic. So next one is reverse assist. Reverse assist, as you know, is a spotting point where you need to position your dumper every time to, to take the load from the equipment. So it might not be possible for the operator because of uh, the the area, the time, the fog, or it may not be visually aware about every other stuff. Uh, they may be because of blind spots and all. So you might take multiple turns to get exactly to the position because of uh, the visual information that has been provided to the operator. So our machine reverse assist tool will support him. To, uh, it, it's an autonomous tool, which in a push of a button, the equipment will automatically position itself towards a spotting point. As you can see in the screen, there are two uh, screens here. This is a shovel screen and this is a dumper screen. One sound is a simulation that has been provided to understand the scenario. So once the dumper starts its location, it starts uh, returning towards the spotting point. Auto steel is on. So to try to locate uh, exact location because our GNSS Systems are positioning systems are already in place and we are visually aware with the equipment where it is being exactly positioned inside the mine. So we try to position exactly there with the spotting point. That's the solution. We call reverse assist. Next comes machine health. Machine health is uh, one of the main, one of the tool which uh, help you to understand how many parameters uh, that we can monitor for an equipment, even it may be a dozer, drill, dumper, and how they are uh, performing on the operations. So what our system does, onboard controller through a common protocol is connected to the hexagon platform. It means like uh, it will it will uh, take consider the data from the OEM. Once OEM provides the data to us, various parameters. These various parameters are in the various sensors. So all these sensor data is being collected from the OEM port, and these data we create alarms. We can create multiple alarms using the direct alarm or some sort of expression alarm. And using these alarms, you can find out how uh, your machine is operating at the various stages, how the brake pressure is there, how the temperature is being calculated in the uphill, downhill, while it is operating in some sort of uh, sloping stable area. So this system will support you all the way in the health uh, to provide the health of the equipments. It is the same sort of thing. All these uh, production of these equipment will be installed with our core and which will speak to our apps desktop app and the real-time reporting app which is the web-based tool so from here you can monitor all these sensors using alarms 
So once the sensor data is being pulled to our system, we create multiple alarms in the threshold level. So if, if it crosses this much amount of speed, kindly send us an alarm. So these alarms will pop up uh, accordingly whenever the dumper or a particular equipment will cross that particular limit. So these are the various uh, readings or the sensor readings uh, according to the time. This has been created every almost 15, seven minutes interval. How the various uh, sensors are, are uh, providing the data to us at a given time for the suspension. And this is for the brake temperatures. And you can get these data for the various parameters and for, for the various sensors. Next one is Mind Protect. Mind Protect is a business unit where we have uh, five uh, different operations or five different uh, pro production solutions. One of which is collision avoidance, visual awareness, pedestrian safety, fatigue, and vehicle intervention. Collision avoidance is a hardware where uh, we need to install this hardware in the dumpers and the dumper will have uh, in each of the dumper it only it only speaks to the other hardware once these two equipments come near to each other at a proximity distance both the both the equipment will be given an alarm it only provides an alarm is a visual alarm so that alarm automatically the dumper or a low a light motor vehicle or a shah or another dumper should uh, act upon so it increases the awareness among the dumper and uh, reduces the probable threat or collision between these two equipments. And this is a personal safety. As you can see, there's a small uh, box kind of uh, hardware here, which will be given to a person, human resource. And this person will be treated as a human resource inside our visually aware mind, where when, whenever this uh, uh, resource comes near to the threat area of any equipment, these threat areas are customizable and will be customized. Once he's under, under the threat area, both all, uh, including the operator, uh, the shovel operator, and the regenerated by dozer operator, and also the person, and also the command control center will be warned that this person is in the threat area, might be uh, fatal in the future. So that uh, awareness will be given to the mine systems. And next one is a fatigue management. Fatigue management is a sleep uh, monitoring system where a person might be at sleep, might be a distraction, might not be seeing the road while he's operating, while he's driving the dumper, while he's operating the dumper. So there is a camera which will be installed uh, in front of him over the cabin and continuously monitors the eyes, like if he's sleeping or not. Uh, whenever there is, whenever the threat is being detected, automatically a haptic feedback will be given to the operator as well as uh, the center like this person is having some sort of fatigue. So this is multiple, it considers the eye condition, face position, blinking, eyes movement, and vehicle status, and vehicle is moving in a perfect path or not. These are the various features uh, that operate, operator as a uh, alert machine will consider. Last one is the vehicle intervention system. So uh, to, this is the nine level system. Till eight level, these are uh, observatory or only indicative systems. Like it only provides uh, a warning to you, uh, like saying this, this might be a fatigue, there is a pro proximity, there is an overspeed or vehicle stability. So when vehicle intervention system kicks in, it means like it's a level nine solution. Where all these tools, it must, uh, to attain vehicle uh, level nine intervention, you need to have fatigue management, personal safety, collision avoidance, and also the radar uh, for the proximity sensor. Once these uh, uh, hardware are being installed into the dumpers and necessary equipment, whenever there is uh, imminent threat or probable collision, there will be an automatic stop to the particular equipments or light motor vehicles. So this is an autonomous tool. Next, we have uh, our survey and monitoring. For survey, you know, we uh, Hexagon owns the Leica, like PGPS, uh, reality capture scanners, and we have all sorts of things for that. And for the specifically for the mining, we have uh, radars for the to calculate the slope stability. Slope stability is uh, is a monitoring unit where it measures your displacement of particular area per mm per hour reading. So. It analyzes the data in real time and provides you, it, it has a very uh, flexible user interface where uh, you can see what is a threat area, what is non-threat area. 
and you can find out the best uh, slope in stable area and you can save your own equipment and resources accordingly. So we have multiple uh, hardwares for that. As you can see, this uh, green area and the red seam area. So this is the hardware. We call it as ArcSAR. Uh, we have uh, a linear hardware, Hydra X, and a 360 degrees rotating hardware, which I'll explain later. So once it starts monitoring the benches, it provides this particular area is having uh, more amount of movement than the green area. The red area is a threat area. It's like this. So uh, the equipment is positioned in various ranges. Uh, the equipment has been structured according to the range and according to the requirement of the client. So in real time, it positions like this is more, or the, it is velocity or the displacement is higher at this area. The threshold limit is customizable and you can customize accordingly to the mine. So once we customize it, it provides what are the areas it's probable they might be slope instability. For this, we have uh, four different equipment. One is FMEO, which is a linear tool. Uh, one is AXA light, uh, which AXA light and AXA performance, which is 360 degrees. It means like it, it can position at one location and it can monitor complete 360 degrees around it if line of sight is clear. It, uh, line of sight uh, should be clear for all the all these equipments. So the range is this can be done for five kilometers and ArcSAR can be done for 2.5 kilometers. And for the lower ranges, we have Hydrax. And the same time we have blast uh, vibrating monitor, which measures the peak particle velocity. And we have subsurface monitor StreamX, which is a GPR, ground penetrating radar, which uh, helps you to understand what is beneath of your uh, surface for some uh, meters. The, the, the depth is measured. It can be calculated. It varies from material to material. For sand, it is higher. For the hard rock, it is lower. So it is basically to consider your anomalies, uh, the pipelines are various structures and the, hello so here uh, this is a rock spot so what we have done right now what uh, in the measure, measuring department we have measured the slope instability it means like at certain at certain area what is the slope instability if there is a slope instability or it has a very slow movement of the material so uh, that measuring unit we call it as uh, radars so there is another kind of radar which we call as a rock spot it is not a uh, it's a reactive unit it means it will not help you to understand when it is happening but while it is happening it supports you like if the rock is falling from this area in this location it detects it is about to fall and this information can be passed on to something called uh, uh, visual alarms, visual notifications, and whatever the equipment beneath it or near to it can be warned accordingly. So while the rock is falling, the rock size uh, is uh, as small as possible to the highest higher, it can detect any rock size. So once the rock is falling, so this is not a slow moment thing, it is suddenly happening somewhere. So this detection can be calculated using the rock spot. So we have uh, our 24 hours monitoring services. This is an extra service that we provide uh, for the monitoring where uh, we provide periodical reports to the mines all around the globe. And next uh, product uh, which I'm explaining is a split cam. So split cam is a post blast tool where once uh, you have blasted your material, now we need to, this material will be transported to crusher. So to understand what is the size of the material. So fragmentation, what is the amount of material that has been blasted? Is it, is it 80% of this 80 mm, 20 mm, 30 mm? To understand it in real time, we have a tool called split cap, where in real time, it will be uh, it will be installed uh, over the dump or cabin or uh, in this location, and it monitors continuously this area, wherever the shovel is going to pick the material. And this material will be given in real time what is the sizes of it. So this is the real real image and this is the calculated and image wise calculation. What is the size of the rock? So you can see here it, if it is picking the material in real time, it is calculating, it is picking the material and uh, it will give continuous graphs. What is the material fragmentation? What is the size of material? Uh, in one scope, how much material has been calculated to which uh, sizes? So 
this split cam has uh, three types of uh, tools, three types of cameras. One is uh, shovel cam, which will be installed in the shovel, uh, and truck cam, which will be installed at the unloading point of crusher loading point or uh, dumper unloading point of material in this site, and it monitors the same material and uh, the same sizes and like this. The sizes of material are calculated. So it's a real time processing of the material sizes. How these images are calculated and uh, this threshold limit can be set and what material your desired material that can be also customized using this tool. So. And the last one is the conveyor cam where uh, the material has will be uh, real time monitored and uh, for the fragmentation over the conveyor. But the next tool is called blast moment monitors. These are the baseball size tools. Uh, where we uh, take these tools and drop them into the blast holes on the daily blasting units at the circumference blast holes like uh, at all the ends and we take the pre data and once we blast the material these monitors will automatically move along with the blasted material and now we know exact throw of the material and this throw will support the planner what is uh, his uh, planned throw and what is his actual throw. So all the materials are dropped into these holes now. And once the materials are dropped, the pre data of XYZ are collected. OK, so the last tool which I'm going to explain last solution is Mine Enterprise. Mine Enterprise uh, is a dashboarding or dynamic dashboarding tool for the, the for considering your all data like FMS, health, drill data, blast data, your uh, current movements and slope instability, calculating all these data and which provide you the cost analysis, inventory management, reconciliation and dynamically uh, providing a decision using the real time data. So which we call it as a mine enterprise where uh, analytics can be provided, uh, will be given to each and every uh, uh, equipment data like FMS and all and which will help for the real time decision. And this solution can be integrated to multiple mines and decision can be taken uh, using the apps what we provide directly over your mobile. So to conclude this webinar, we have a small video which includes all these products what I have explained right now. Let's have it. Let's have it.
uh, I think video is not visible to you guys. Start one more time. Productive minds recognize that technology is essential to being smarter, safer, and quicker to respond to change. Hexagon integrates life of mind technology, delivering end-to-end -end solutions for its customers worldwide. Plan, operate, protect, monitor, analyze, and report on all mine activities. MindPlan delivers everything needed by an exploration or resource geologist to store, manage, and analyze drill hole data, perform geological interpretation of the deposit, and generate an accurate block model. Whether in a quarry, surface, or underground mine, MindPlan provides engineers with OPCAD functionality to create and optimize 3D designs and activity-based schedules. Full virtual reality brings new and compelling dimensions to visualizing and sharing mind plans. Survey and scan complex field data into realistic, 
and workable 3D models. MineOperate creates automated production cycles and operations workflows. Using mobile devices, it captures real-time, in-field data from across the mining life cycle. Daily production activities and equipment utilization metrics are captured and converted, ensuring continuous business improvement. High precision guidance delivers accuracy and instantaneous feedback. Identifying machine health trends in real time improves efficiencies and reduces wasted effort and resources. MindProtect is at work in more mines than any other safety solution. Non-intrusive cabin display mm. units and wearables protect vehicles, cool. equipment, and most importantly, your employees. Integrated tracking prevents accidents caused by blind spots, driver fatigue, vehicle size, poor visibility, and busy traffic, and reports incidents in real time. Everyone goes home safely. Measure high walls and perform real-time slope monitoring using radar, total stations, and GNSS. Our geomonitoring hub makes sense of combined measurement results with easy-to-use software. To support successful mine management, Mine Enterprise connects processes and data in a reliable Life of Mine data hub. Connect to any system and enable data enrichment in a single interface accessible to everyone. Hexagon's mine monitoring services offer an enhanced layer of expert oversight. Customers monitor and control all aspects of their operation. Our regional monitoring centers, supported by a global network of monitoring specialists, feed data from fatigue monitoring, system and database usage, and enterprise reporting directly to you. At the surface or below it, Hexagon can help you increase production, decrease costs, and improve safety. Okay. So, uh, in a nutshell, what we provide for the complete mining is uh, for the survey, we, as you know, the Leica products. Uh, and we have the land record management uh, where the land acquisition can be done using these tools. And we have uh, uh, digital twin tools and also mine planning for the planning department and for the production, we have FMS machine guidance, blast material movement, sure, split cam technology. And for the safety, collision avoidance, vehicle intervention, fatigue management, personal safety, operator system, health management. And for the radar, all this uh, blast vibration monitors, real-time slope stability monitoring, geo radar, and also guardian solution, how uh, we monitor this MM per hour situation and also rock spot for the reactive decision making. And at the end, we have the enterprise solution uh, for the seamless integration in the hexagon products and solutions for the real time okay. dynamics. So this is a complete uh, product portfolio and everything is uh, produced and owned by hexagon. We uh, provide these solutions and some of the mind planning is the only solution and other uh, other products are having some sort of products and solution amalgamation. So everything is owned by Hexagon, whatever the product portfolio I have shown. So thank you for participating. You can have your questions right away so that I can answer. Thanks, Raghu. Uh, so we would like to yeah. conduct a small poll before uh, people drop in their questions. Uh, I will put the poll on screen and in the meanwhile, if you have any questions, you can put it in the chat box. Please help us uh, understand better with the poll that is on your screen.
Hope everyone's taken the poll. I'll be closing it in the next one minute. Uh, thanks everyone. If you have any questions, please uh, drop them in the chat box and Raghunath will answer them for you. Raku, we have one question now where somebody wants to yeah. know what services we offer for greenfield mineral exploration industry. Yeah, mineral exploration industry. Uh, exactly what I mean, like uh, we can provide mine planning services for them. And also we have the tools which will help them with the exploration, uh, identifying like what happening uh, with the machine, uh, drilling, uh, like core drilling machine uh, inside their uh, from the site to the offices that uh, that what we can do for the mineral expansion. Basically, the mine plan is the tool for them. And for the high humidity, underground mines has specific scanners, which uh, we need to look into it and we need to let you know about the working with scanners. Uh, can you give me what uh, what you are looking for the scanning thing? What you want to scan exactly? Because uh, we have a GPR for underground also where you can do the subsurface scanning. Ground plane trading radar. I think questions. Yeah. Hello. Oh yes, sir. So another question we have is: Can we see three D model of drone survey in underground? Three D model of what do you mean by underground? How do you can do drone survey? But if you have three D point load data, yes, you can see that. Uh, we are in further production. So geophysical data, we can provide the anomaly uh, from our uh, GPR hardware, where uh, we have uh, IQ maps, which will give the post-processing data for your anomaly detection and for the prospecting purpose exactly uh, that we can do them. Uh, the geological means once you have the core, core borehole data there with us and uh, the solution can provide you uh, the estimation that that a mine a geologist in uh, remaining in your mine panel should do that process of doing that estimation now. Once established in the production. Okay. 
next. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, you can put them in the chat box. Uh, so uh, somebody wants to know, do we offer UAV based geophysical survey? Uh, that I need to understand because we our department is uh, different for the UAVs. We need to speak to the concerned department and get back to you. Geophysical survey with UAV. Okay, I'm mean, like. I don't know how it is possible, but certainly. you could drop your email address in the chat box and we can uh, connect you with our other team. Is there anything else? Uh, no, so I think we can conclude this webinar. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Please join me in thanking Raghunath for this informative session. Please note the email ID that is displayed on the screen in case you need any further information. We will also be sharing a recording of this session uh, should you wish to listen back to this webinar. We appreciate your time and hope you have found this webinar to be a valuable experience. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Subrat Paul, uh, we have a person for that for the survey. I will speak to him once and I let you know is it possible or not. We will do it survey, definitely. OK. Any more questions? OK, then. Thanks, guys. Thanks, all of you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, Apart everyone. We'll conclude the webinar. Yeah, it was a great pleasure presenting the webinar on mining solutions. Thank you. OK, shall we close the year? Uh, yes, Raghu, I'll just end the meeting. Thank you, everyone, for joining. OK, thank you. Bye.